The Heartland Harvest Garden is a 12 acre edible landscape. Since opening in 2009, we have been showing people of all ages where their food comes from. We do that through the use of annuals, fruits and vegetables, herbs, perennials, fruit and nut trees, as well as our tropical greenhouse. Recent renovations focus on using, finding food in the native landscape as well as planting non-natives that thrive in our region. Right now we're harvesting a lot of summer crops. Some of my favorite tomatoes, we have 13 varieties. Brandy wines are doing really good, nice big red slicers. And we also have the Grape Escape Cherry Tomato and Golden Rave, which are two of my other favorites. We're growing a lot of peppers this summer. We have at least 10 varieties, Cubanelles and Poblanos and Habaneros and all sorts of sweet peppers and bell peppers. We're also growing, if you're into summer salsa, we have, we harvested 250 pounds of onions and 30 pounds of garlic this year. And we have lots of herbs to contribute their great and unique flavors to the salsas like parsley or cilantro or basil. We're harvesting a lot of cucumbers, a lot of green beans and eggplants right now this summer, as well as looking forward to fall with apples and pears and pumpkins. All the plants I just mentioned provide nourishment for your body and you are what you eat. So by tasting, eating, and sharing good food together, we can nourish our bodies. Food production is a long journey. From the seed, to the soil, to the growing, and the trellising, and the pest management, and then finally you get to harvest. And after harvest at a conventional farm, it's then shipped to the store, and purchased and prepared by a chef, and then finally arriving on your plate to provide that nourishment. But sometimes, when you buy food at the store, you forget the rest of that journey that starts with the soil. And so by coming to the garden, you can see the value and of the resources and the energy and the time and the people that spent that time, energy and resources to provide that food and to grow that healthy, nutritious. I'd like to tell you a quote written by Brenda Shaw. My grandfather used to say that once in your life, you need a doctor, a lawyer, a policeman or a preacher but every day, three times a day, you need a f